Right, we're looking at the gradient of a curve on any point on the curve. Right, my question is determine the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h if h tends to 0. Okay, if h tends to 0. So that's very important. And that's for if f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Right, as you can see, we do have the f of x value. Which is over here. So my f of x value, we're going to substitute that with 2x plus 1. But we don't have the f of x plus h value. Right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to take the f of x equal to 2x plus 1. So let's take this. And next to it, I'm going to work out now what it will become if it's the f of x plus h. Okay. So here we go. If f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, then we can say that the f of x plus h become two bracket. Now remember now, your x over here became now x plus h. So over here we have to substitute this also now, also this x with x plus h. So we say two times in brackets x plus h close the bracket still plus 1. Okay, now if you work that out, if you multiply and it's going to give you 2x plus 2h, if you multiply that in as well, plus 1. Okay, so very important is, they gave you the f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, and you had to work out the new point for f of x plus h. So whatever your equation is, you'll substitute all the x values with x plus h. Right, now we can move over to our formula. Right. As you can see, they've given you the formula over here, so we need to use this formula. Let's write it down at the bottom here. Okay, all of it divide by h, and you must write when h tends to zero. Okay, so we just need to sim we just need to uh, uh, simplify. We just need to substitute in and simplify. So we say the limit. Ah, remember now, the f of x plus h. What's the value? There's my f of x plus h value, so we're going to substitute the whole 2x plus 2h plus 1 in. Ok, so we'll get 2x plus 2h plus 1 still the minus here, so we put the minus down and remember, oh, my f of x value this value over here, so we can substitute the f of x with 2x plus 1. But please, remember to put it in brackets, because the signs will change. Ok, and still all divide by h, when h tends to naught. Okay, we just need to simplify a bit. So let's just carry on. 
over here. Right, so we still write down the limit because we haven't applied the limit yet. So, yet. so we're going to say the limit of when h tends to zero. So at the top, let's see what's left. All right. Now, if we come back to the previous step, you'll see here that we're going to have 2x. If we multiply the minus 2x in there, it will give me minus 2x. So that will fall away. It will cancel out. 2x minus 2x will fall away. And then we've got a plus 1 over here. And if you multiply this minus in with the 1 over there, you'll get minus 1. Oh, so plus 1 minus 1 will also cancel out, will fall away. Okay, so all we're left with at the top is then 2h over here. We're left with 2h over there. Right. So let's write it in here. 2h. And still divide by h. So we haven't used that yet, so it's still there. And then the next step will be to say, right, we don't use the limit yet at this stage. We still write it down there. Now, we can say that h and h will actually cancel out. So we are left with 2. Right. Now at this point, you can't do anything over here. So you're just left with 2. You can't simplify it. There's nothing to cancel out. Now we're going to apply the limit. Okay? Now we're going to say, right. My h tends to 0. But we don't have any zeros, sorry, we don't have any h values over here. So there's nothing to be substituted. So the answer will just be 2. So when you apply the limit on 2 when h tends to 0, the final answer will be 2. And remember, once you've applied the limit, don't write it again, because you've used it. Right. 